One thing I should probably have mentioned in the last video was, of course, this website is is public. It's on. It's it's live. It's on the web. It's not on your computer. It's live on the web. So whether you're accessing this from school or from home or wherever, it's through the web browser and it is live by default. Now, obviously, you might not want the other teams having a look at your website. You might want to keep it a little bit secret. So over here we've got this share icon at the moment we've got a little picture of a globe on it which means it is actually public if you click on that it's going to bring you to this page which means well this is actually is where you can customize how your site is viewable on the web so this here is the URL of your website so when you submit your website um, at the end of the competition so the judges can see it and it can be um, viewed by anyone and everyone this is the link that you're going to want to share Okay, it's not the most glamorous uh, website title in the world, but it is a functional one. Um, but until then, if you click on this change button here where it says public on the web, if you click on that, it will actually allow you to make it so that only people with a link can actually view it. Because obviously if it's public on the web, the search engines will pick it up, Google, Yahoo, you name it, they'll all be um, going through this. But if you click on private, only the person that created the website can actually view it. Now, you can be a bit more advanced than that. If you click on Save, so it's now private, so, no, so if someone types that URL into their web browser and they're not logged in as you, they're going to see nothing. You'll see an error page. But if, you, if, if you're just the one person of your team that's in charge of the website, then that's fine. You can manage this. However, if, you are, if there's three or four of you, or hopefully if all of you want to collaborate on the website centrally through the web interface, you can do so by entering in here. So everyone with a Google account the email address that's associated with that Google account from everyone in your team, the person that set up the website, if you add them down here, you can actually make it so that you can all log in. So if you if you remember back in the last video, you went to sites.google.com, if you've logged into that with a person that you've added here, they will then see the site just as you can. So all four or five of you can be editing the same site at the same time. Um, I'm not going to show you in great detail how to do that. That This is how you do it. You can figure that out. It's very straightforward. It will send an email to the person and you go through the steps and set it up. But like I said, if it's just one person that's in charge of the website, then you don't need to do that. Um, but please remember, when you do actually submit your site, you need to make sure that it, it is public and this is, the, this is the URL that you're going to want to go to.